Hi Alison, thanks for sending this in. Um, so we've, we've got a, a few extra thread trims in the design. So let's just see exactly what we have. Uh, so there's 15 thread trims, uh, 11 stops, 3 colours. Let's see if we can reduce that a little. So I'll just close that down. And we've got the body of the truck and the tray. The window, which has to be done after the body obviously. But I'm thinking these white pieces can probably be done first. The wheels are all the same colour, so we can do the wheels, the rams, the lift, and the feet. So I can see a few objects locked together here. So let's first of all select everything and right click and unlock or ungroup at least. So Let's go to my sequence toolbar. Okay, so we'll drag our sequence toolbar out and I'll just select everything. And I think we'll move the colours so it does all the white first. Then the black. We're going to have to change this, obviously, this one here. I we'll have to go down after. We'll just drop it in there. Now, one, two. I think if we do that, then this, this one, this one, this one, that. In that order. So again, we employed the sequence toolbar. And after that, do the wheel arch or the wheel rim. Two, three, then that. I probably could have put that earlier in the sequence. Maybe up here. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, let's start to work through the design and see how we can uh, eliminate the thread trim. So I'll travel to the beginning of the design and I'll move through by thread trim. So we've got a thread trim here. Look, I just notice that this has been created with the, the ellipse tool. I'll point out that the ellipse tool you can't control the end point um, so I, I tend not to use it I, I would use for this shape the complex fill tool or even the input A and then you can control the, the end point as well as the start point the end point in the ellipse tools can, is uh, controlled by the starting point it just ends up at the opposite side of the object so what I'll do here is and the other thing I notice if the stitches are running horizontally it's going to Oh, you, in your case, they were running vertically, so that's going to be pulling down your edge. Your wheel, I would imagine, is going to be a, an edge shape, you know, wider than this height. So the stitches ought to be running horizontally, or change the shape of the of the um, of the object. So what I'll do is just create another object. see that I can control the start and finish point. Okay, so what I'm going to do is delete the other wheels and just duplicate this one. Okay, so we've now got complex full objects. Then the wheel, then the wheel, then the ram, and then the top 
this. Okay, so back to the beginning of the design. Move through by thread trim. We got to that point. So I've digitized the running stitching. To there, then jump to the next thread trim, then the running stitch, and to the next thread trim, another running stitch. Next one, and to the next um, running stitch to there. <coughs> now I select all of those objects and hit J on my keyboard. Let's just sort out the start and finish points. And let's see what test. So I've gone through all of that white without a thread trim, which is good. Now our first black object. Okay, so this one here needs to be there. by that piece okay now I'll put a rowing stitch in to here and we want Subject to be next. So the running stitch, then the um, run around the wheel. So let's see if we hit the J key if we can make it make the process join apply. Back to the beginning. Move through by running stitch uh, by thread trim. Okay, so we've achieved it there. So another running stitch from here. Around that point there. So that's that piece, and we want that one. So there and there. So it's all black, J, test again. Now running stitch from there. <coughs> um, this one's a bit debatable. I mean, we're going to jump a reasonable distance across there, I think. But we'll try that. I think it's probably too far to jump across there. Maybe we need we have to have a thread trim at that point. And after that we've got the wheel and and this other foot. So this other foot needs to come to here. And possibly what we could have done to avoid another thread trim is moved this point instead of going to the bottom. Delete those. Delete 
that one, that one, and I'll move it to there. Bring that up. Select the black J and sort the start and finish points out. Test the game. Click, click. Okay, now put a running stitch into the bottom of that round. Like I said, that, that, that might be a little debatable there. That's a jump across, but it is fairly small. I think you can change the shape of the truck to cover that joining stitch. Or that exposed stitch anyway. Okay, so back. It's done all the black without a thread trim. Like I said, this jump across here might be too much, so we'll just leave that as it is. So all the light colour, dark colour, then the wheel, then the body of the truck, then the window. Now I noticed that the the satin stitch in this window is running the same as the satin stitch in the same direction. So what I'll do there is select the window and it's been created with the complex fill tool. So I'll just go to my reshaping tool and change the angle. We don't want the, the two lots of stitches running in the same direction. Otherwise they'll blend in into each other. Um, the other thing, this all could have, um, could have been done in one piece. And I think it's probably it might be that you might get cause a little, you may cause an issue here with the separate underlays working against each other. Um, so I'll just digitize that in. I said it maybe cause a problem. So I've, did, I've done that at the end of the design, so I need to drag it back up to here. Now that is branched, I'll just unbranch that. We'll break it apart. So that's the new piece I just did. I'll delete that one. And delete that. Do my test back to the beginning scissors okay so what we need to do is select all the white hit j no no, no real need to branch those okay so let's have a look what have we achieved um, we've reduced the thread trips to five and probably can't be this many more than that. I hope that helps.